Prince Oliver and the Dragon Once upon a time, in the enchanting kingdom of Eldoria, there lived a young prince named Oliver. Prince Oliver was not like any ordinary prince. He possessed not only great bravery, but also unmatched cleverness. He lived in a magnificent castle with his loving parents, King Theodore and Queen Isabella. One bright morning, a message arrived at the castle from a distant land. It was a plea for help from the neighbouring kingdom of Starhaven. The kingdom was in deep trouble as a fierce dragon had taken residence in the nearby mountains. This dragon, known as Drakar, was causing havoc by stealing the kingdom's livestock and terrorising its people. Starhaven was in desperate need of a hero to save them, and they believed that Prince Oliver was their only hope. Prince Oliver, with his heart full of courage, immediately agreed to help the people of Starhaven, but he knew that defeating a dragon would require more than just bravery. It would require cleverness. He gathered his trusted companions, a wise wizard named Cedric, and a brave knight named Sir Edmund, to embark on this perilous journey. Before leaving, Prince Oliver sought advice from his parents. His father, King Theodore, said, Remember, my son, bravery is not just about facing danger head-on. It's also about making smart choices and using your wit. His mother, Queen Isabella, added, Cleverness will guide you in your quest. Be observant and resourceful. With their blessings, Prince Oliver, Cedric and Sir Edmund set out on their journey. As they approached the mountains of Starhaven, they could see the menacing silhouette of Drakar against the fiery sunset. Prince Oliver devised a clever plan. He knew that dragons were territorial creatures and Drakar wouldn't take kindly to intruders. So, instead of charging in with swords drawn, they decided to approach peacefully. Cedric used his magic to create a beautiful tapestry with vibrant colours and intricate patterns. They spread it out at the entrance to Drakar's lair as a gift. The clever prince then played a soothing melody on his flute, while Cedric used his magical abilities to make the tapestry dance with the wind. Drakar, intrigued by the beauty and music, cautiously approached the entrance to his lair. With every step, the dragon grew more enchanted by the tapestry and the music. Prince Oliver continued to play, and Sir Edmund began to dance gracefully. The dragon, mesmerised by the performance, lowered its guard. In a swift and unexpected move, Prince Oliver used a rope to tie Drakkar's front legs together, rendering him immobile. The dragon roared in surprise, but it was too late. The clever prince and his companions had outwitted the fearsome beast. They didn't harm Drakkar, for they knew that sometimes even the mightiest creatures could be tamed with kindness and cleverness. Instead, they made a pact with the dragon. Drakkar promised to protect the kingdom of Starhaven instead of causing harm, and in return, he would receive gifts of art and music. Prince Oliver returned to Eldoria with his companions, hailed as a hero not only for his bravery, but also for his cleverness. He had not only defeated a dragon, but had also forged a lasting peace with it. From that day on, Prince Oliver's wisdom and bravery were celebrated throughout the land and he lived happily ever after, teaching everyone that courage and cleverness could overcome any challenge, no matter how daunting it may seem.